All right, what is going on guys? Double Law here again with another video. So you guys know I mentioned within the last video that the Q50 actually broke on the dyno. Now, it didn't fail on the dyno. We made a decent amount of power, but the drive shaft gave out. Like out of all things for my car to do and like me thinking that we're finally able to upgrade this thing without having to fix any issues and just literally issues arise. We're gonna go drop this off. I gotta swap it out with the 350Z that I have parked at my friend's house, and we'll get back to it later. Check the oil and be able to uh, diagnose the drive shaft and get it up on the lift, yada, yada, yada. But today, it's a really exciting day. So if you guys don't know, for one, let me mention the drip. You guys know that we have Double R merch now on the site. So if you guys check out doublershop.co, we have brand new shirts, hats, stickers, all having to do with our first ever build that literally built this channel. We got sticker packs with little Q50s on them. We got the at stickers and we also got the logo stickers as well. So make sure to go ahead to doublershop.com, pick up your merch, interrupt the double R brain. Now back to the video. So what I was mentioning before is we're actually, I'm pretty excited. We're gonna go pick up literally the biggest car that we have on the channel. It's the biggest vehicle, it's the biggest engine, it's the biggest turbo. I'm excited to show you guys and it's been dead for like four months. So we gotta go and save it. Let's go though. up here for rain. So I already know what you guys are thinking. What bigger car, what bigger turbo, what, what, what bigger engine, what are you talking about? This hits, this hits a big spot in my heart, all right? This is my 1995 73 F250 with a fat Garrett turbo in the back. This car hasn't been running for about four months. It only has 140,000 miles on it. It's a manual, it's a rear wheel drive, eight and a half foot bed, full iron rear bumper, upgraded wheels, over fenders, iron front bumper, look at the bash bar. It has a winch, lights, the whole nine yards. I literally stole this thing, all right? So we have some battery issues the past couple of times we've been trying to start this car. And I'm gonna try and jump start it without getting electrocuted here, but this is kind of how Florida is. It was perfectly sunny. And now all of a sudden, it's like half a thunderstorm. Uh, the trick I learned, there is two batteries on the F-250. There's one on the passenger side in the front of the engine bay, and there's one under this intake like pipe thing, whatever you want to call it as well. So you have to jump both batteries to be able to start the car if both batteries are dead. And I didn't know that. I was over here sitting for an hour with jumper cables on one battery, and I didn't know you had to have a jump box on the other battery. So no fucking way. It might be that terminal, like you said, but maybe something going on with it. Oh no, no, it wasn't a spark, it was a flame. No sparky sparky. No sparky sparky. Okay. Any spark. Any spark. Okay, still smoking. I think I'm just gonna wait. Um, the crank was a lot longer than I thought it would have been on the second startup. That like the first startup, it cranked like two or three times and then it died out. This one was like 10 or 12. I'm gonna give it like a little bit. My girl is making ramen noodles inside the house, so I'm gonna go smash those and then we'll come back and we'll see if this car starts. Hopefully no one steals my jump box, but it's Florida, so. All right, one more time. All right, all right.
about Charmin. You know, that never used to work before. Before? Yeah. Dude, this get down. You hear that, Tarski? All right, so good news is truck works just fine. I was able to drive it around. I was able to get it up to temp. Uh, no leaks, no fluid leaks or anything like that. So that's really cool. But speaking of fluid leaks, that's a lot of oil. And it's like, it's fresh oil too. It's none of that old And there's only one place that it could come from I'm so mad I have no idea what the issue is but I'm having a weird oil leak only while the car's on the only way I'm gonna figure that out is if I put the car on the lift what sucks is I was trying to surprise my girlfriend by going and picking up her 350z because she has an oil pan leak too as well but now we have to deal with my Z and I'm not sure if it's safe to bring it all the way to her grandma's and then drive her and go all slow and <sighs> tough day So clean. All right, I lied. We're picking up your car. So, uh, come on, let's go. Look at your white wheels. They look so good. Why does your car look so cool? Turn it on. Check your oil pressure. Okay, you're in gear. Just like before you let off the thr uh, clutch, always like when you're stopped, put it into neutral. I know, I forgot. You got it. You're looking good. Can you hurry up? You're looking good. I know she's like incredibly nervous. It's not even funny, but I am so proud of the fact that she like forces herself to drive manual. Not many people can say that, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud. I'm so proud, look at her driving. Like more than anything, as much as I love when I get better at driving, nothing feels better than when someone that you've taught, especially someone like your girlfriend or like your child, when they get better, you know? Cause then it shows that like, you're decent enough to teach people and they trust you and they trust your judgment. So they follow what you say. And once they do that, then they accomplish and they do well. It's just, oh my God. I'm so happy that she's driving manual. So happy that we're driving next to each other in both of our Zs. It's like a, it's like a tiny dream come true, which is awesome. Let's see if, let's see if she stalls. I don't think she will, but let's see if she does. I know I won't. You got it. Oh, she, she stalled. She did it. You got it, babe. There we go. Yeah. You did fantastic. All right, so not exactly how I wanted to end the video. I mean, it would be ideal is if me and Allie could do a burnout right next to each other, but that's not gonna be the case. So, so uh, Allie's car has a obviously brand new VQ35DE that we put in. It's a 40K mile certified motor, but the issue was that it was sitting for over eight months. Now, when you have a motor that sat for over eight months, and especially if you have no ignition coil packs in it, I think that's the only way that water would be able to seep from the top into the bottom of the engine. With all that moisture, it causes the oil pan gasket to go out really easily. After flushing the motor, getting most of the moisture out of there, we were able to drive it for a couple of hundred miles and we finally started noticing that it had a small leak. So the only thing that I didn't do is replace the oil pan gasket, which, I should have done to begin with, but I mean, what's it gonna do? So tomorrow we're gonna pull the Z in, we're gonna take the oil pan off, 
and then we'll push it off to the side. While I have Ali dealing with her oil pan, I'll go ahead and start diagnosing what's going on with this Z. So you guys know that oil leaks are a no-no when it comes to forced induction cars, and I think I know what happened. So the rear main seal on this engine is literally uh, inside the transmission. Uh, that's the only way that I'm gonna be able to check it out. I could see if there's residue on the back of the engine, but honestly, it's just really hot back there. And I don't have a lot of room to work with while I'm out here. Plus, it's really late. I don't feel like putting the car on the lift at the moment, especially with how the weather is going to get. I don't want to have to take this car off and then push the 240 back in and just do all this stuff in the rain. So so tomorrow is going to be Z day. And that's that's my idea is like I'm going to wake up 8 o'clock in the morning and we're going to start pushing cars in and start doing double R stuff. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning.